While students are at home instead of inside the classroom because of the pandemic, doctors are seeing a dramatic increase in the number of kids getting hurt on ATVs. News 4 Jacks reporter Brittany Muller looked into the incidents involving teens in our area. With COVID-19 school closures and kids at home. We have seen a dramatic increase in the kids that come in with injuries related to ATVs as compared to previous years. Marie Crandall, professor of surgery at UF College of Medicine in Jacksonville, says in a typical year while kids are still in school, there's up to three injuries a month from ATVs, severe enough where kids are taken to the hospital. But in 2020, doctors have seen five to 10 incidents a month and up to two or three deaths every month, mostly because ATV traumatic brain injuries. Three things, three take home points. One is consider the age and supervision, so age, maturity, supervision. Crandall says a severe brain injury can impact the rest of your life. Back in March, three clay teens were hurt after an ATV crash and one of the four wheelers flipped over, sending them all to the hospital. Then in April, Yulee High School football player Alex Murphy died after weeks of fighting for his life because of an ATV incident. FHP says the 15-year-old hit his head on the pavement. In a Facebook post, his family said the incident caused Murphy to lose 95% of function in the left side of his brain. In Bradford County, last October, two eight-year-olds were on an ATV when it overturned. They were ejected and suffered serious injuries. Last November, 18-year-old Donovan Parker was killed and two others were injured after the ATV the three teens were on struck a brick mailbox and were thrown off in Nassau County. Troopers noted none we're wearing helmets. It's so critically important. We know helmets decrease injuries and decrease the likelihood of dying if you strike your head. Crandall says supervise your children, teach them how to operate the ATV safely and legally. And most importantly, make sure your child is wearing a helmet. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.